Hello again, um, just back for another short video this time. I haven't done one for a while. Uh, a, it's very time consuming. B, I'm just rubbish at it. Uh, so I've had a few people ask me about my astrophotography and images uh, and I thought I'd just do a, a video on on how I do it with the equipment. It's only short, five minutes, bit of info on the Andromeda Galaxy, my, my gear I use uh, and just getting that image and, and the app I use uh, for, for sort of working all the equipment. So. It's been a good run of clear nights. I think I had about four or five on the trot. So I set up, it's all automated, all running while I was in bed asleep. Um, I think I did a, a good a good hundred or so five minute exposures of the Andromeda Galaxy and then they're all put together, stack process, and you come out with an image. There's a bit more to it, but I, I won't bore you with that. Uh, been a bit different because we've uh, had Merlin the Spring Spaniel for probably about 10 months now so it, it was a bit twitchy about all the gear the noise of the mount moving and slewing it was freaking him out a bit and, uh, and at 12 you know midnight one in the morning when he's barking at that it's not ideal he's settled with that unfortunately though he now standoffs with hedgehogs uh, down on two paws uh, growling at them and barking again one two o'clock in the morning I'm sure the neighbours don't like it, but at the end of the day, it's clear skies. I'm going to do my photographs, so tough luck, neighbours. Um, I'll crack on. You can have a look at it. If you want to contact me, you know, if you're local, do anything you want to come out or have a look at the gear when I'm, uh, when I'm actually set up, you can. Just let me know. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, you'll enjoy the image of the Andromeda Galaxy. Don't forget, look up to the skies. Dark, clear night. You can see it with the naked eye with binoculars and um, enjoy it. Thank you. Sorry, I'll just quickly introduce you to Merlin. The reason is I've just been chasing him round. Look, took my eye off him for a minute and he loves rolled up socks and he won't let go. He knows it's naughty, but he does it anyway, don't you Merlin? So this is Merlin. This is my new Astro Buddy and Hedgehog Disturber. So say hello to Merlin and he'll say hello back. Oh, well done. Firstly we've got the Stellarium map which is used for planning where your object is. That's my house superimposed there. You can see Andromeda moving across over that time and location. You can zoom in on the, that app and look at your objects in closer detail and have a look at the information uh, that's relative to it. This is Telescopius where you input your gear uh, information. So that green box is the field of view for my particular camera. So once the finished image is produced, Andromeda should be within that field of view. Essential gear, sturdy tripod. There's a lot of heavy um, equipment going on top of that tripod when it's be sturdy. We first need to roughly align it with the uh, celestial pole, which is just offset from Polaris, the North Star. And I tend to just level it just for ease of mind. Uh, make sure it's uh, level then the tracking mount is a heavy piece of equipment which goes securely on on top of the tripod you can see there then there is a counterweight which is used for counterbalancing the camera telescope and any other peripheral uh, equipment on top as you can see there my main teles uh, my main mount sorry is the HEQ 5 Pro um, and the Telescope is a William Optics Red Cat 51, which is a 250mm focal length, which is quite wide for astrophotography. The camera there, said to row 533, is fan cooled, which hopefully reduces any hot pixels. 
and that guide cam and um, that guide telescope tracks the stars and sends feedback to the mount and it will reduce any uh, any backlash and the main computer is the ASI Air Plus which runs everything via my phone app two straps on either lens there to reduce uh, any any dew via a bit of heat and the counterweight there as you can see so this is slow motion and uh, this is the balancing you've got to balance it in both axes the reason it needs to be balanced if it's out of sync you'll just get egg shaped stars because the gears are being stressed and strained so you balance it so that's evenly uh, moving there and it won't fall to either side you do the same with that axis it's, that should be okay it's quite a, a light top um, bit of equipment that now here this is the app the ASI Air app and what we need to do is polar align it you see that little sad face or nearly sad face there that means it's not polar line. we need to move and move some screws on the mount to get that center circle near the crosshairs until you can see there's a smiley face and it means we're fairly well polar aligned now there's a preview shot you can see the center cross is the celestial pole and polaris is slightly offset now what we tend to do now we need to look for the object so we're looking for m31 andromeda this is a messier object that's called messier because they're objects that were found by french um, astronomer charles messier so we look for m31 which you can see there it's really simple this app click on it we click the go to button and you can see the figures there it's slewing now my mount's actually moving and i've taken a, a shot of it moving so it's slewing there in both axes and what it's doing it's going to those specific coordinates for andromeda or m31 and it will stop it will then take a preview image and it will do what's called plate solving where it will take a photograph of the stars calculate where it is and there we've got a hit now on m31 or andromeda galaxy based on my field of view of my camera which is that blue box now i take a, a initial preview these are 300 second images and this is just a jpeg on my app so that's there i've aligned it it's looking good within that square field of view then what we can do is take a series of as many as we can depending you know whether there's clouds or, or, or it's completely dark and we build up a library of these 300 second images because all the light is changing all the time because it's traveling that 2.5 million miles towards my camera so we take as many as we can get as much signal and then we stack them and hopefully after a bit of processing we end up with the beautiful andromeda galaxy which on a dark night with decent eyesight or binoculars you should be able to see with the naked eye if you look up.